Today we're going to talk about why I chose the tailgate tire table as my preferred surface while camping to mix the vodka with the LeCroy. Coming up. A bad day. My name's Drew and this is Evergreen Overland. On this channel, we showcase 4x4 vehicle modifications, hone our backwoods cooking techniques, and do reviews on camping and overland gear like the one you're gonna see today. There's a ton of different style tables out there. I've owned my fair share of them throughout the years. I've owned and taken camping everything from a cheap folding card table to a complete mobile kitchen station like you'd find at like a Cabela's or a Sportsman's Warehouse. They've all had their pros and cons, but today I wanna to talk to you about why I chose to go with the tailgate tire table. As with most things when I'm designing this Tundra, I'm doing it in a way that's going to be hopefully as quick to set up and take down as possible. And that's kind of one of the primary reasons I was steered in the direction of this table. A flat, sturdy workstation is definitely a premium. Uh, this table gives you 23 inches deep by 29 and a half inches wide of a nice, secure, sturdy location to do any of your cooking or dinner eating. My cooking kit, as you can look, take a look at a different video, is located on my back tailgate swing out. So I use this primarily for me and my wife to just sit down and relax after a hard day on the trail. This table is really intuitive in how it sets up and it's a little versatile as well. It'll fit on almost any tire that's 14 inches or larger around. It has this section that goes around the back of the tire with some grip tape on it to secure it around the backside. And then in the front, it has these two little short stubby legs about six or seven inches long you deploy. I'm gonna take a minute and show you guys how you set this table up from start to finish. Now, full disclosure, this thing comes with this same little wing nut, little T-nut on this location and this location, and that's what holds this from popping out. I lost mine like two months ago, put them somewhere down in the garage. I know they're still in the garage, but I need to find those, but I just replaced it with little bolts for now, and I'll get those eventually. Um, so yeah, let's go throw this on the tire. First things first, you pop out the little quick detents on the little stubby legs in the front. Set those up. Take your wing nuts, loosen those up. And then it's as simple as sliding this over the tire, tensioning it down with the wing nuts and you're good to go. That right there is basically its first configuration of how you can set this thing up. But what I really recommend doing is dropping down the little third leg here, loosening your T-nut and letting it come out. And that just gives you the optimum amount of sturdiness for this thing. In this format, there's nothing that's gonna really take this down. Now, you don't wanna sit on it. You don't wanna step on it. That's just probably not gonna be safe, but uh, you could definitely cook on this thing, sit three around it to eat dinner, or play cards or whatever it might be. It's really a super stout and secure table. There's just nothing quite like it on the market. This unit here comes in at about 12 pounds, a little under 12 pounds. It's all black powder coated. They also recently released an all aluminum version that comes in under six pounds. And then I hear whispers that they're gonna be coming up with a larger version um, to kind of expand your flat surface area and possibly seat more people if that's your goal. Uh, I think that's gonna be coming out sometime next month in June. So I'm hoping I can get my hands on one of those to test out down the road. Um, I can't decide if I want the big one or the aluminum one, but I'm sure I'll probably get one or the other coming up. Now to tear this table down, it's just as easy as putting it up. Usually where I start is by folding in the support underneath there, and then I just lift the whole thing off. Again, I lost my wing nuts. They're somewhere in my garage, but those wing nuts just fold in there. You depress the two stubby support legs and slide them into their position, and you're ready to go. This thing just slides right back in where you keep it. Super handy. 
Well, there you have it. I just wanted to shoot a quick little video talking about this tailgate tire table. It comes from a family-owned and operated company, and it quickly has become one of my favorite pieces of kit that I carry in the truck. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button on this video to know I did a good job. If you have any questions or comments, definitely throw any of those down below. You can find a link to purchase the tailgate tire table down in the description below on this video. You can follow me over on Instagram at Overland or at evergreenoverland.com. Thank you for watching.